So for our Waikiki series, we're taking you guys along on our favorite places to eat. We're taking you guys along today to an awesome cafe called... Hawaii Aroma Cafe. And I actually personally am a fan of this cafe. I used to go to their other location. Cheers. What I tell you guys, stop giving a man the coffee. <laughs> What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, we're starting a new series based on a recent poll. You guys have wanted to see mostly cheap eats, but also Waikiki eats. So for our Waikiki series, we're taking you guys along on our favorite places to eat, some new places we haven't tried yet, and some awesome grind. So for our Waikiki series, we're taking you guys along on our favorite places to eat, some new places we haven't tried yet, and some awesome grinds that us locals love to go to Waikiki for. So we're taking you guys along on some of our local favorites, and we're super excited to start this series with you guys. And if you guys are new here, I'm Amanda, this is Felix. We're a locally born and raised couple here on Oahu, and we take you guys on all of our our foodie adventures so to come along on every episode with us make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you never miss an episode from us and also give this video a big thumbs up it helps our videos get out there and helps spread the awareness of Hawaii and our local culture we actually are going to a cafe today haven't had my coffee so I'm pretty in need of it <laughs> just yeah we're, we're dying right now just trying our best to stay awake yeah let's go because we're tired we're starving we're in need of that life elixir caffeine fix let's go <laughs> in Waikiki and we're taking you guys along on all of our foodie adventures today and we wanted to introduce you to today's sponsor which is Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. And this hotel is super close to all of the places, all the good eats in Waikiki. If you want to check it out, it's a really great launch pad for those who want to just stay in Waikiki, have a staycation. You locals out there, there's Kama'aina discount. So if you guys want to have like a little staycation in Waikiki, it's a really great hotel that's centered right in the middle of Waikiki. If you want to get bang for your buck, if you want to stay in the center of Waikiki, but you don't want to break your bank, definitely a great place to check out. And also, we want to say thank you so much for hosting us today at this awesome cafe. It's called... Hawaii Aroma Cafe. And I actually personally am a fan of this cafe. I used to go to their other location in the Iwikai. So I know that this place is super good. And we wanted to take you guys along because they have some awesome, awesome coffee and food. So let's get going. Yeah, it'll be my first time, so I'm pretty stoked. And it's right here in the middle of Waikiki in the Beachcomber Hotel. So let's go check it out. I just want to give a big shout out to Jonathan and Marissa for helping us out. Jonathan is the owner here at Hawaiian Aroma Cafe and he's so awesome. Like we just kind of told him like surprise us, you know, like make, make whatever is good that you like, you know. They're whipping up some dishes for us at the moment. We got our drinks for now and it looks good. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah, if you guys ever do decide to come here, it's a good chill coffee spot. There's a lot of open tables as you guys can see. A lot of room. There's also a poolside too. 
They also have alcohol too. We didn't know that upon you know coming here. We got some of their signature cocktails. Unfortunately, we won't be ordering any of that. Uh, we have a long day. <laughs> you guys know how it is. But yeah, if you guys ever get the chance to come here, let us know in the comments below if you have tried any of their cocktails. They have some signature ones too. Beer, seltzers. What's better than enjoying a nice glass of bubbly at poolside, you know? Too bad we weren't on vacation. Yeah, these are their alcohol selections. Um, very close by everything. It's literally right next to Macy's on Kalakawa. If you guys know where that is, that's like almost like dead center of main like Waikiki Strip. So awesome location. Randa's getting some of the v roll getting some cinematic shots for y'all, you know? But yo, we'll see you guys in a few when the food comes out. So far, we just got our coffees. So. And guys, this place is super Instagrammable. The decor in here is super cute. The owner, Jonathan, kind of did mention that this place has kind of like a European type of theme vibe to it, but also with like a Hawaiian twist. Let's try our coffee first. Oh, I have my next one. Oh, and the artwork behind us, guys, this is chalk. Hey, cheers to our life elixirs. Oh man, this is really good. Probably not something I would drink every day, but this is really good. So I got the, uh, what is this? The white chocolate macadamia nut latte. Which he said is like not on the menu yet. Yeah, so, so be on the lookout for that guys. And tell me what you think. White chocolate macadamia nut latte. This thing is amazing, try, try this. I like it better than like anything from Starbucks latte. Mm. It's that good. Whoa. It's actually really good. You can tell already when you're walking, like upon walking in, you could smell the strong aroma of coffee. Oh mm -hmm. man, like we were awake just by walking in, just by the smells, you know what I mean? And those days back in the day when I used to go to their other location, I really needed coffee and this was definitely a great pick me up and oh, still yeah. is. And they do have other locations other than the one here in the Beachcomber. So if you're in the area of the Ilikai or if you're around here in Waikiki, definitely check them out. Oh man, I can smell the pesto already. Just to give you guys a hint of what's to come. See you guys when the food arrives. Oh man, so excited. So our first uh, couple of dishes came out, guys. And Jonathan was saying he didn't want to put the dressing on the, our salad yet because it's a little bit different. He wasn't sure we wanted to try it, but it's a in-house made espresso vinaigrette. Where have you had a salad dressing infused with coffee? It's so interesting. Well, can't wait to try that. The panini smells amazing. Pesto, everything made in-house. So like you said, it's the OG way with the pine nuts in their pesto. So very excited for that. And of course, their famous signature acai bowl waffle. Also, just to keep in mind, guys, the waffles and breakfast stuff here ends at noon. So if you guys want to come here for the waffles or breakfast dishes, Make sure you come before noon because that's when the breakfast portion ends. When have you seen an acai <laughs> sorbet plopped on top of a nice hot crispy waffle? I sure haven't. Sorry guys, I'm putting up a video right now, so definitely go check it out. But a little preoccupied, sorry. Oh, yeah, it is I know Monday. You told me not to cook too much. I know you oh, said not to no. too much. But I usually just go a little bit above and beyond. Thank I know you. you said that you like the white chocolate raspberry. So I did for you the white chocolate raspberry waffle take. Oh, oh nice. Wow. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. I see you. Jonathan just pulled an improv and made Amanda's favorite latte drink, but in a waffle form. That's badass. Oh, man. So Amanda usually, like she said, goes to the Ilikai location during her lunch break or even in the morning sometimes, yo. So she used to, like, every now and then get that white chocolate raspberry latte. Jonathan decided to put it into waffle form. How awesome is that? Let's dig in because we're hungry. We know you folks are hungry. So let's get into it. Hey guys, it is transitioning to the afternoon towards dinner time, so it becomes a nightclub kind of thing. <laughs> oh, it becomes yeah, like a party. Yeah, they do have live music as well, y'all. So if you guys want to get any live music, definitely come hit this spot up. Yeah. But... Oh man, Jonathan just keeps coming back for more. Woo! Wow, right. thank you. Some acai bowl samplers. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Okay, I promise. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Well, <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. you, thank you. Alright y'all, we gotta start off with the most fragile, which is the acai bowl. We mentioned before, we always do the B-roll and everything for you guys, you know, so you guys can get an idea of what it tastes like. It takes a little longer, but let's get into it before it melts. 
So we're gonna try their signature acai waffle first. Like, this is amazing. Remember, get here before noon. They stop making waffles, eggs, and things at noon. So I'm just gonna grab some of that acai, put on the nice crisp waffle, give it a cut right here. Oh man, all the granola too. Granola is like one of my favorite things. I wish it wasn't so unhealthy. You would think granola is healthy. Get some fresh fruits in there too, because why not? Get the perfect first bite for Amanda right here. Oh, for me. It's so good. The contrast between the warm and the cold. Oh. <laughs> Don't get upset that your biodegradable utensils break. It's a part of the new life now. All right. Here's my short <laughs> fork and my big bite. It's awesome, guys. I like the strawberry and some of that mm. honey sweetness and the granola, the crunch. I've never had acai waffle. Very different. So, I will say the waffle isn't as crispy as we wanted. I like my waffles crispy, mm -hmm. but the granola adds that crisp. Mm -hmm. So it definitely makes up for it. Does anything get better than honey and granola? Like, I feel like I can put that on anything and I'll eat it. And the fresh fruit on top just gives it a nice fresh flavor. Oh man little acidity. Guys, we just got a lot of food, so I really want to wow. move on to my macadamia nut, raspberry, oh, white yeah. chocolate, with regular chocolate waffle. It's screaming my name, guys. Let's definitely try that one. That one looks very... Just look at that. Decadent. Okay. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of things. Like Melon mentioned, we have to upload the video for you guys. We don't miss a beat. Except last week when I uploaded a little late, sorry. <laughs> okay, so this bite, oh yes. Oh, I see Ooh. chocolate chips in there. Oh, nicely melted already. What is that? That vanilla ice cream, I think. I think it's like a white chocolate ice cream. I don't know. He said this is his concoction because I told him that my favorite drink is their white chocolate raspberry. So he made it into a waffle for me. What a nice guy, y'all. I'll get some food. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Man, this is a good waffle. Ooh, that whipped cream. It's almost like a waffle with a pancake texture. That fluffiness, chocolatey, nice velvety vanilla ice cream, fresh raspberry fruit. I feel like Jonathan was on Iron Chef, you know what I mean? They gave him the ingredients and he's like, they're like, okay, make a dessert with it. I think he would have won with this one. Nice, like rich chocolate flavor, like really shines through all the fresh fruits. It's a very, I would say more standard than the acai one. So if you like something more traditional, definitely go for that but I do want to get another bite of this acai. I think I'm more for this uh, chocolate raspberry waffle concoction. But this one, I do really like the, the chocolate. I mean, the acai bowl one is good too, but I feel like if I'm going to get a acai bowl, I'm going to get a acai bowl. You enjoy, indulge in the white chocolate one, and then when you feel like you're getting a little too unhealthy, a little too ahead of yourself, go back to the acai, because we're all healthy foodies here, I think. <laughs> Let's get into the actual acai ball, y'all. Oh, yeah. We're too distracted. Not to mention, it was getting kind of hot out, so Amanda wanted to try one of their smoothies. I think this one's called the Tropical Breeze. Mango, pineapple, all fresh fruits blended into a nice smoothie. No alcohol in this one. How oh, this it? tastes fresh. This will cool off anyone right now. It's really refreshing. Mm. Which I'm pretty surprised too that it's not overly sweet. I was a little apprehensive that it was gonna be one of those smoothies, you know, wow. that are way too sweet. But this one is pretty good. You know whose name is written all over this smoothie? The Vons. She oh. would love this oh, smoothie. Yeah. She loves her mango smoothies. Okay, acai bowl time, y'all. I'm not really sure what the names were called. I'll leave it down on the, the screen here. He made little mini ones for us to try because we told him that we're gonna be eating a lot of food. This one looks like it has acai, granola, coconut, blueberries, goji berries, peanut butter, honey, and banana. Oh my yeah. goodness. Look at that. That looks like the kind of acai bowl you need right before a big hike. You know, you're gonna tackle Diamond Head, Coco Head. Eat that one first. What is yours? Mine is, uh, looks like kiwi, pineapple, mango? Is this mango? Papaya, shredded coconut, strawberries, and acai. And a hint of granola. Right? Oh no, actually the granola is throughout. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah? Yours looks more like a tropical kind of thing. Yeah, this is more like the one, um, if you can somehow get this to a nearby hammock without it melting, this is the one you get. 
Oh man. I feel like the healthiest, most refreshed person in the world eating this. We were gonna try some of these foods near the pool area, guys, but it is a little busy right now. A lot of the hotel guests enjoying the pool area, so we don't want to interrupt them. Oh, this one is really refreshing. Yeah, very nice with the fruits. Nice touch, especially because these are fruits that are typically in an acai bowl. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, oh, oh, thank you. oh. Really oh, it was very nice meeting you guys. Nice meeting you too. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank Oh yeah, this is a one. Mm. I think this is the first time I have nut butter on my acai bowl and it's really good. I want to say it's kind of like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Oh yeah, I can see that. Especially with the banana too. Oh, imagine putting like bacon bits on this. It'd be like an Elvis Presley sandwich. The Elvis Presley acai bowl. But of course, we had to get something savory, so we got their one of their paninis. Well, I forgot to mention, so right before Jonathan left, he was so nice. When we first sat down here, he was asking us, you know, what do you guys like to drink? What is your like ideal cup of coffee? I'm a simple guy. I like to keep it OG style. So I told him, oh, I like my coffee black. You know, like just a morning cold brew. That's all I drink every morning. Yeah, I'll be right before he left. He made a cold brew. What an awesome guy. Like, he didn't have to. We didn't order it, but... It's panini time. So excited. I'm more of a savory than sweet, but I like to go back and forth. Y'all already right, know. Guys, uh, this thing is nice and toasty. Cheese is cooling and melting. Oh man, look at this. Come on, y'all. When's the last time we had a panini? If it's been more than a week, do yourselves a favor. Go get a panini right now. Oh man. Maybe get a panini from here, Hawaiian Aroma Cafe, because this looks amazing. Ooh. So we got their turkey pesto panini. He did say that they make the pesto in-house, like a real Italian-style pesto. And I love paninis. This just takes me back to the days of like college. If you guys went to UH between those years that I did, shout out. You guys remember that panini spot? My favorite. Look how stuffed this thing is. Like The bread can't even hold the filling in. Cheers. <laughs> oh man, my, mine is so much bigger than yours. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. Man, good. Don't sleep on the panini, guys. Comes with a side salad, chips, nice crunch, nice pesto flavor. I really like the pesto. We know we used to make pesto at home all the time. And we always make the mistake of adding like too much garlic, too much nuts. It becomes like too acidic, you know what I mean? So like we get like upset stomachs and stuff, but this is really good. To me, this pesto is more of like a pesto aioli, which is like a pesto pesto sauce, you know? Super flavorful. The meat, the cheese, nice and salty mm. with the fresh tomatoes, some spinach, and the pesto just ties everything together. It's not a dry sandwich. It's outside is crisp, nice and toasty. Inside is moist, lots of flavor. Today is a perfect day to come here. We're actually having our Father's Day dinner tonight with my family. Uh, we're not gonna shoot it though, it's just, you know, family matter. But yeah, like, so we were craving something light for lunch and Hawaiian Aroma Cafe hits the spot. We were planning on having like a full day of activities, whether you're locals or visiting, this is a perfect spot to hit up if you're in the area for a light lunch or, you know, like a pick-me-up meal or... And also this place is super close to like Waikiki Beach, so if you're in the area right after beach or you want a quick lunch or something, you can just head up right over here, right in the middle of Waikiki. It's super easy to get to. We didn't really mention the location, but they're located in the Beachcomber Hotel, which is off of Kalakaua Avenue. If you guys are aware of the old Duke's Lane, it's kind of near there. You just go up to the second floor, there's escalators, and you'll get right here. Really great after walking around Waikiki, really cute spot to just chill. They have like a lot of workstations, a lot of cute little areas to take pictures. And guys, they have alcohol too. And they do also have live music. So if you want to just come and chill. And it's at night though, the music. Yeah, a at bit. night. So like if you want to come and chill, maybe have like drinks by the pool, listen to live music, definitely a spot to hit up. We got so ahead of ourselves. I forgot to try the espresso vinaigrette salad. Wow, 
man, that dress. You, did you try this yet? Can we get this to go? Like the dressing, it's so good. The dressing, it has like a nice coffee, like aromatics, and then followed by that balsamic vinaigrette taste. But it has a nice smoky, like coffee taste, to it, right, in the beginning, and then it rounds off with the balsam. This is really good. It's like slightly is, bitter, but it's really good. It, yeah. it was really good. Like we said, guys, like on the days we're not filming, we try to eat as healthy as possible. Not as possible, but we try to be a little more on the healthy side, and we eat a lot of salads at home. So this dressing well, will be a game changer. I'd put this on any salad. I'm guessing it's healthier too because it's a vinaigrette. That's actually. Damn, really you good. finished your sandwich already? Yes, I did. Guys. We're not talking that much. I am a sucker for pesto and paninis. Oh, that salad is so good. I think my highlight is definitely the waffle, that special one he made me, the chocolate, white chocolate mocha raspberry waffle. That was honestly really, really good. The acai bowl, very cute, very filling as well. That panini, pesto, paninis, how can you go wrong? Full meal right there. So and your highlight is basically everything. And the coffee, guys. Do not sleep on the coffee. It's a local coffee shop, one of my favorites here in Hawaii and in Waikiki. So if you're in Waikiki, just check out the coffee shop. It's not even that expensive. It's actually cheaper than a lot of the Starbucks here in Waikiki. If you've ever stayed at the Hilton Hawaiian Village and you tried to get a Starbucks there, it's freaking expensive. So this is a really great alternative if you want to get away from mainland coffee companies and you want to support a local coffee business, definitely hit up Hawaiian Aroma Cafe. Definitely the coffee. Come here for the coffee. Try the coffee first. If you enjoy the coffee, try everything else. Because if you're like us and the first sip of coffee from a place is good, pretty much whatever they have is going to be pretty up there. It's pretty good. Like I said, this is one of the best white mocha macadamia latte I've had. The ones at like Starbucks and whatever, it's like a little too sweet, too artificial. Like this one tastes really good. And surprisingly, the espresso vinaigrette, because I've never had that anywhere else. It was very balanced, really good. It made everything taste savory, delicious. It made me want to eat more salad. When do I ever crave salad? But that made me want more. Look, I ate, I, I finished the salad, guys. Me. That's how good it was. Who is he? I don't know. But also guys, I did want to mention, this is a really great place for the families out there because there's sandwiches, there's sodas, paninis, acai bowls, like hot coffee, hot chocolate. They have a cakey menu too. Yeah, a cakey menu. So if you don't know what cakey is, that's children or child in Hawaiian. But so there's pretty much everything for everyone here. Definitely a great place to take your kids. And trust me, they will go crazy for those waffles. And if you have an Instagrammer, an Instagram foodie in your life, they will love these acai bowls and the aesthetic of this place. So many Instagram photo opportunities. Artworks by local artists, like we mentioned, Erin Ibarra. She designed even the artwork outside in the lobby area leading up to here. So very, very, cool. ar very artsy place. I don't feel heavy at all. I'm ready to go run a couple miles after this, relax on my hammock, enjoy the rest of the day. And also guys, this Beachcomber Hotel, they newly rented renovated it, I think, because I've been here before. They used to have the magic show here, which is actually my stepmom's cousin. But anyway. Magic show. Yeah, they had like a magic show here like a long time ago. I've been here for that. I've been here for, what was it? J Jimmy Buffett had a restaurant here. Is it Jimmy Buffett? Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Because Warren Buffett is too rich. Anyway, yeah, so this hotel has gone through a lot of different renovations and newly renovated by the Outrigger. Definitely check this place out. Ooh, I'm pretty full. This smoothie is awesome, by the way. So literally today we had everything. We had breakfast, we had lunch, we had coffee, we had dessert. What else more is there to do? I think we should walk around though kind of flush out our system. And we need to get out all this energy from all this coffee. <laughs> well, I tell you guys, stop giving a man the coffee. <laughs> Maybe we should walk around after this. What do you think? Lucky me. That's what I think. <laughs> Ooh, shopping opportunity, guys. Uh, yeah, I left my credit card. <laughs> And guys, I ain't lying that I used to come here all the time. Look, I'm even an Aloha VIP, y'all. Look at that, a loyalty VIP card for this restaurant. Hawaiian Aroma Coffee. That's how many times I used to go back in the day. I didn't get any acai bowls or paninis though, just the coffee, but see that? <laughs> just thought I'd mention it. All right, thank you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.
guys. So we just came down from Hawaiian Aroma Cafe and I bet you're all wondering, Felix, why is it that you have yet another drink? <laughs> oh my goodness, how much can this guy drink? So anyway, I haven't had an Italian cream soda in a long time, probably since like high school days. Yeah, I wanted to give this one a try. Funny story, so what happened was we wanted to leave the staff tip but I didn't have any cash on me. So I went to the ATM, they were gonna charge me about $6 just to pull out some money. So I was like, screw that. So pro tip, make sure you always bring some cash with you, even if you're a local, especially if you're visiting, you know, just to leave a nice tip for the staff. So I paid $5 for this on the card so I could tip, but yeah. <laughs> Here we are, Italian cream soda, strawberry flavor. And guys, we really wanna walk around, but it's like freaking oh, hot out here. This is nice and creamy. Mm. Tastes like a strawberry shortcake in a drink. It's really good. I don't know, do you guys? Want us to walk around? It's blazing hot today. You want me to go shopping? Yeah, maybe not that. Well, we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us, y'all. Let's go. Yeah, let's check out some places. Yeah, let's go. And guys, there's so many things to do in Waikiki, especially if you're a tourist. Especially if you're a local, you just want to be out and about. So many things to do, so many places to go. Iconic areas as well. Definitely come to Waikiki, even if you're a local. Waikiki is pretty fun. If you ever get bored, you can always go to the beach too. So there's always that. Yeah, guys, check, definitely check out Waikiki. Some people could spend a whole vacation just staying on the ship. Not much things to do. A lot of outdoor activities, a lot of packages too. Guys, let us know. Would you want to see us do some kind of like Waikiki activity video? Maybe like a catamaran kind of video? Yeah. Definitely Not surfing us... though, because we suck at surfing. Yeah, I don't know about surfing. I actually have a condition regarding my eyes, but anyway, if you want to know more, let us know. Or if you want us to do like a catamaran type of video, let us know in the comments. <laughs> I drowned twice growing up, guys. No joke. I, you can ask my family. I drowned twice, so no surfing for me. All right, guys, looks like that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for joining us today on our first episode of Waikiki Eats. And a big thank you to today's sponsor, Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. And without you guys, our subscribers out there, we would not be able to have this type of opportunity to work with such a great hotel. So thank you guys so much for being there and supporting us. And as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, he <laughs> your thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button it's right down below it helps us out a lot and hopefully our videos can reach more people so definitely hit that subscribe button yeah like amanda mentioned earlier if you guys want to see us do some activities uh, we're thinking about a catamaran that sounds kind of cool sunset booze cruise something like that amanda doesn't really drink but she can hang <laughs> out i love the ocean guys so i'm down for anything that has to do with the ocean she gets car sick, but not seasick. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, let us know, guys, down below. What more do you want to see of, you know? Don't be shy. Comment section is free. It's open. It's available to you to communicate with us. But as always, we, we're tremendously grateful. Thank you so much again. And until the next one. Bye, guys. All right. See take ya. it easy. <laughs>